Well, let's move on to Standard Bank. It's South Africa's biggest bank with a market cap of 174 billion rand. It has a 150-year history in South Africa. And since 1990, it has built operations in 18 countries elsewhere in Africa, where it also trades as Standard Bank. It is 20% held by ICBC of China and has a price-to-earnings ratio of 11.6, a dividend yield of 4.7%. A while ago, Standard Bank was the darling mm. of the fund managing, management industry here in South Africa. It's been battling to, to hold that position. Obviously, we went through the restructuring, the retrenchments. Where do we lie right now? Well, I like that, again, long-term perspective. So you'd all remember that they were sort of sleepy, although the largest, and then Nedbank attempted to uh, have a go at them. They recovered from that. They appointed a young and dynamic CEO, Jacko Marie, in his early 40s. They then proceeded to expand globally. They got a bit of a bloody nose from a debt write-off in Russia when the Russians decided they didn't feel like paying their debts in 1998. And the share price halved, basically, to around 12 rand a share. However, in that period, at the beginning of this century, they rallied from that level right up to around 100 rand a share. So that gives you a sense of just how good things were going for the financials in that early part of the century. You don't see that here. I mean, the last five years have really been a sideways tracker as they've attempted to kind of recover from that disappointment. And the Chinese thing has come in, but, you know, they're still the true blue largest player in our sector. Craig, back to you in Cape Town. Is all the disappointment over? Well, I think a, a couple of days ago, or mid, mid last week, I identified a head and shoulders pattern in the chart, which said that there'd be a sell-off on the share, and we've actually saw that sell-off significantly yesterday. It recovered a little bit today, but I, I, I think not to the extent that it sold off. So, um, you know, that's on a, on a technical basis, but on a fundamental basis, the group had uh, the highest cost to uh, income ratio. It's normally efficiency ratio. We look at it all the banks, and they were sitting at about 65%, which they've dropped to just shy of 62. So I think it was 61.7. So it's still a very high cost to income ratio. So there's still work to do to draw some out some of those costs. Um, and this is and even uh, after, you know, Craig, just, just to interject, this is even after the restructuring, the widespread restructuring, laying off of staff that we have seen from Standard Bank over the last year, year and a half. Yeah, well, that's uh, as a result of it. And of course, when you don't meet targets, they don't give, give out those big bonuses. So you still, salary is obviously a big component of, uh, of, of Standard Bank's costs, but even I'll post that. So there's still, there's still uh, room for a little bit more more uh, squeezing, if you like, to come down to the 56, 55% level, which is where most of them are at. Um, so uh, what's quite interesting about this, it still ho holds 54% uh, in liberty. So it's got that insurance factor, whereas uh, when we talk about Nedbank later, Old Mutual are holding them. We know first uh, FNB have just sold out momentum. So there's an interesting aspect that there's still that insurance that flows out about 13% in, 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 into, into HEPs. So um, uh, it, it, it's, it's interesting from a group point of view, but not as efficient as it maybe could be. You like this one? Do mm. clients of yours hold it? Do you have direct Look, since exposure? Since the Chinese came in, they disavowed their global intentions. They sold Russia, they sold Turkey, they sold Argentina. They are now going to be the Chinese bridgehead into Africa, which is fine. They've done a lot of work in Africa, capitalizing new branches, buying businesses in Nigeria, going into countries like Angola. At the moment, the return on equity of that activity is a bit poor. But, you know, once they get going, I think they're going to do well. However, they're still, you know... Hot or not on uh, Standard Bank? You know, I'm not a big fan of the banks. I think they trade at 10 or less PEs for the next five years until everybody forgets the sins of the past. So for me, as much as I have respect for them, not hot. And Craig, yourself on this one, hot or not, on Standard Bank? You, uh, look, you might consider some banking stocks if you're in a dividend or an income stream portfolio, but not hot f uh, as a general equity portfolio.